all of them will be peers moving in that direction. Month of December, January. Now, those of you who are from the south of India, you know what I'm talking about. This is the uh, festival, not the festival, the pilgrimage to Sabramane. Have you heard of that? Ayyappa, Lord Ayyappa. And it's very popular all across India, especially in the south. So what, what people do is, they take a vow to abstain from various things and to, you know, not shave. So you'll notice that they stop shaving up for some time. And they, they do this pilgrimage. They go all the way to this hilltop, which is close to Tekini. Tekini is also on the hilltop. And thousands, thousands of people go there. And the last part is a long climb up the mountain before you can go to the deity. Okay, so that is again a form of penance. So they will go there and then they make an offering there and they come back. So in our Indian culture, there's a lot of, you know, wanting to be ascetic, wanting to do penance, do things for God of this type in order to be pleasing to God. And this photograph is just a photograph of that place at the time of the, you know, darshan, at the time of actually meeting up with and, and going into that temple. So, for some of us, we are familiar with this, these sort of things. We believe that religious activities of this sort please God. Or at least we get favor with God because of these things that we do. God is pleased with us. Now, here what I have is another photograph, not very really clear, I'm afraid, but it's actually a photograph of feeding the poor. Feeding the poor. In the city of Bombay, where I come from, Every Sunday, if you go to Marine Drive, you find a lot of these kabutas, you know, pigeons. That's one thing, leave that off. But not only that, you find a few of people on Marine Drive waiting. What are they waiting for? If you're from Bombay, you know. They're waiting for somebody to come with food to feed them. And especially people with a Jain background, they would do this very regularly. Okay? Because they believe that by feeding the poor, they're pleasing to God. So, Charity, donations, charitable work, all these things we believe is pleasing to God. God is pleased with us. And that is especially true in our Indian, with our Indian background. But the question I want to put to you is this question. What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say makes us pleasing to God? Actually, the passage which I'm going to pick up tells us one aspect one aspect of how to be pleasing to God. There are other things as well. And I'm not going to cover the other things. I'm just going to cover one aspect. Because, you know, there are some foundations, some fundamentals, some basics which need to get not just into our head, but into our heart and into our life. And if those foundations get through, I want to tell you, the life we live is a different type of life. And one of the foundations is what I'm going to give to you here in this passage. It's Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And if you were to look at it in the Bible, I know it's given there, but it's sometimes good to turn in the Bible as well. Because the was about to do. Yeah. still not going to go One eight seven four. So just turn to Hebrews. Hebrews is in the New Testament. One eight seven four. And it's Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 is on right here. And this is what it reads. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Isn't that very strong? Without faith, it is impossible to please God. In other words, you may go to church every day, you may do any amount of you know, donations, charity, what have you. You may go to every temple around, you may do all sorts of you know, ascetic activities. But if you don't have faith, you cannot please God. So an essential requirement for pleasing God is to have faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. And it goes on to say, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Must believe that he exists and he rewards those who seek his face. But we need to have the faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now, I think it was two Saturdays ago, three Saturdays ago, I preached a message here, and it was called Silver and Gold Have I None? Or I, I, I don't have said something like that. Anybody was here for that message? Yes. Silver and Gold? Some of you were here. And this is the story of the incident 
of Peter and John going to the temple to worship God. And as they were going there, there's a lame man, lame from birth. He's at the temple gate. And Peter looks at him 